Are you guys ready to see me get an item way before I'm supposed to? This is some crazy stuff right here. Like, I'm not supposed to come back here till I get the spider ball. And you're not supposed to get the spider ball till like, a long time from now. Like, look, the game expects you to have the goddamn screw attack by now. Yeah, look, look, the game's gonna tell me to go get the space jump boots. Because that's the room where you face the jump guardian. Anyways, so we come down here, and it's like, what? What is this thing? You're like, what? And it comes out, and it's like, oh shit, it's like a giant plant penis thing. With multiple mouth opening parts stuff. And there's four little areas that you have to go bomb. This is the power bomb guardian. And this thing is pretty easy, assuming that you don't suck. You just, it's, it's basically you just move and then go up here and bomb the shit out of these areas. And that'll shoot lightning at him and do damage. And then you just do the whole process over again. It's really quite a simple concept. And, uh... I'm just gonna go for this one next. Yeah, exactly. Make it look like I'm going back. Because it, like, predicts your movements. It's like, ah, this man is gonna move this way. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm gonna... Damn, you're, like, seeing me through now. Seeing through my t clever disguise. And you're gonna crush Batman's head in between your thighs. Oh! Boosted through you. Give me some health, man. None. Oh, man. Come on. See, I said assuming you don't suck. I kind of suck, but not as much as I would if this, if this were my first time around. Now, judging by the fact that I only recently saved, uh, I really have to be careful. I mean, no, not really recently. I mean, like, really recently I didn't save. <laughs> Alright, come on. Move, 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 move as fast as you possibly can. And then move back. Make it seem like you're going to move back more. And then derp, this thing's gonna derp it up. Come on. Dude, do it! Yes, bomb! Mmm! Delicious. Now I'm gonna destroy some dark creatures and shit for, for energy. Because it'll be helpful. Alright. Ugh, a little bit of energy. How much energy? Ah, oh, that is like the equivalent of an energy Jesus right now. Mmm, this is delicious. Alright, so. Go back up here. Let's complete another one. Uh, Alright. Quickly, quickly! Mmm! That stuff delicious! So happy that doesn't do damage to me since it's like part of a cutscene. Well, it's not really a cutscene, but it's more so just showing, hey, this this guy got hit. Come on, move, move, Samus, move, Samus. Ugh. Damn you enemies up there. Creatures of darkness that are dark and creatureness less like what? See, now this thing can launch power bombs a little bit more rapidly, so I'm going to hurry the tits up quickly baby baby back ribs oh you best not mess shit up for me bro all right come on oh you are kidding me come on come on man you cannot do this to me I am the Franklin Thorpe of the gamer Oh, gotta focus. Gotta focus. Oh, just jump up, jump up, jump up, and bomb that shit, man. Oh hell yeah! I think we just beat him. This is kind of violent right here. Yeah, crush. And that goes up like that in a very cool manner. There we go. Oh, god, that was a pain in the ass. Scared me. Scared me more than, uh... More than the Alpha Blog. Well, actually, no, not as much as the Alpha Blog, now that I think about it. But, it's... It was a pretty scary experience. I was... I was crying, you know? 
be like, Mama! Mama! But, here we go, power bombs already. Not supposed to have this till like, the end of the like the mid part of the sanctuary fortress. It's just, oh, it's so unnecessary. Crazy. I'm a crazy kid. Um, but right now I'm gonna have... This is this is the annoying part of my little challenge run here, is uh, having to have patience. So I'm gonna be patient and wait for this to reach 99, so I'm gonna cut out till then. Alright, and some of you are probably thinking, why 99 energy, Josh? Why do you need that? Well, because, um... This area right here has no remorse and will not give me a little break here. Um, by the way, Dark Temple Key. And there's actually a light portal right there. And some of you may ask, oh, well, why don't you uh, go into there? Well, because there's something else in the Dark World that I wish to complete. I must avenge my father for the Allspark. No, um, but no, seriously, in all seriousness, I do need to... I don't need to get something done, but it would be extremely helpful. And uh, there's these weird, like, ghost tentacle things in here. I hate these enemies. Actually, these are probably the most annoying enemies in the game. Because they do some major fucking damage. And uh, they, will, they will fuck your shit up, needless to say. Uh, just like the light world, this area is a save station. Thank goodness. Because we got a lot of, well, we got a few things done. And now we're about to get another item! Isn't that exciting? Alright, so... Basically now, what I'm gonna do is come in here and then we have to bomb this. And what it'll do is it'll twist the cage so that I can then go this way. Then open this door. Then actually speeding McSpeederton through this as fast as... Well, no, not really, because I can collect health on my way up and power bombs and... All kinds of crazy good shit. Like these plants, they're the most useful things. I swear. Actually, it'd be useful to have some light energy on me. Uh, so I'm going to destroy these things with the dark beam, which will supply me with some light energy. I just need a bit. Not too much. Super missiles will do a fine job. So, But here we are in this room, and you're like, What room is this? What now, Josh? What could you possibly get now? Three bosses in a row. Three major enemies in a row. Come on now. This is the Grapple Guardian. I wonder what we get here. This is how we get the Grapple Beam. Really, you can't lock on to a very good weak spot unless you scan this thing. Then it determines that its eyeball is its weak spot and you could start firing at it. And after you fire at it... I cannot tell you how many times I've killed this thing. Um, after you fire at its weak spot, you can get a good shot at its back. And... Once more, super missiles. Very, 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 I cannot stress it enough. Very, very deadly. This thing is also very deadly, but uh, it's very easy to dodge, at least for me. Because, like I said, I cannot tell you how many times I've killed this thing. It gets kind of old after a while. Then it will use its uh, grappling beam attack. Which, when used properly, it will get stuck on something and you can get a good shot at its back. Which is... Like, if you shoot at his eye, that's all cool and all, but it won't take any from his uh, health bar. Not to like if you were to do that. Now, grapple beam move. Come on, use it right next to here, buddy. Then get a good shot at his back. We only have five missiles left, so that's only good for another, uh, another few super missile shots. That's fine. God, this is like the fastest that I've taken down this thing. Like, this recording session has brought out some great moments in this, uh... And playing this game for me because I'm generally not this good. Sometimes it'll get bounced back, giving you another good shot at its back. And now its back is completely knocked off. If you can't tell, this thing is supposed to replicate those like lightning shooting dinosaur things that we've encountered earlier. Hey, look, more missiles. Looks like I'll be fine. But see, since this is a dark creature, guess what beam is super effective on it? Three, sh three regular shots to the eye from the light beam, and this thing will be stunned. Unfortunately, you can't get it to grapple onto anything anymore. And when it uses the grapple beam move, it's pretty much invincible. So basically, your only shot at getting getting a weak point to get hit is uh, its back when you shoot it three times in the eye. So that's why I just recommend keeping the light beam out, because it's... Yeah, one more hit and this thing's fucking dead. Look at me, bro! Look at me, amigo! 
Come on. God damn it, just look. Look me in the eye. Tell me. Do I look pretty? Because you're dead. Alright, Grapple Guardian defeated. We get another item again. It's like three fucking items in a row. Like there was hardly even a break in between the three. And we got the Grapple Beam. Which is awesome. Grapple Beam kicks ass. And for whatever reason, the platform lowers here. It's just like, you defeated the enemy. Time to just lower this platform for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Just to test your newfound ability. I was like, okay, cool. I wonder if there's anything down here. Probably not. Nope. I was hoping for like a missile expansion or something. Nah. It's not going to happen. Actually, I didn't even have to jump up that way to use the grapple beam, but whatever. Shoot these things down so they don't hurt me. Because you know they will. They will hurt me. And then we do that and that and that and that and that. That's how we do it here in San Francisco. Even though I live in Ohio. But. So now we have the grapple beam. We can enter in a different room. But I'm going to save first. Because to enter in a different room right now would be kind of a pain in the tits. Um, actually, the only way we can... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We do not need that thing to get up there. We are slick and clever. We can get up there without it. Look at us. We're just... Oh, wait, no. We can't even get up to the top where the save area is without going down here first. With the stupid octopus enemies that do, like, 7,000 damage. So get out of here as quickly as possible. Into the safe zone. And into the save zone. Herpa derpa derpa. Yes. Oh god, three brand new items. Damn, that is crazy. Actually, four brand new items in this entire recording so far. Alright. So, what next? What? Oh shit. Shouldn't have done that. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. It's okay though, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Just gotta go back up the elevator. And then jump down in a very safe manner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What? You guys followed me up here, you assholes. Move. And turn into a morph ball, you'll be safe going up there because the tentacles, they can't reach down for whatever reason. Then this part comes up. This part comes up. This part comes up. Okay. <laughs> and then... Then what? You're like, well, we're back in here. What use do we have in here? We have a few uses. Um, let's first get some health, because that... Some energy. That would be helpful. Um, but what can we accomplish, you may be asking yourself. And I'm asking myself the same question. Like, Josh, what seriously, can we, what can we accomplish here? Well, I don't know. Is there another dark temple key down in this area? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Thinking. I'm thinking my hardest. My hardest is not good enough. There's one in the... F well, we can bomb this area. And we can bomb the area right here. Thinking, where are all the dark temple keys? We got one. I know that much. I know there's one in the area, like right next to the place where the thing is located, where the boss of the temple is located. And there's one in the. F ah, yes, no, we are. We might as well consider ourselves close to being done here, because. I mean, I pretty much am. Might as well finish up the Torvus Bog. Bog of Torvis. And, uh, let's go. Scrump Tiddly Duchess. Duchess? What the hell is wrong with you, Josh? Alright. So, we can actually hover back up. Now that we have that shit. We have the Dark Temple Key. We are set to go. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So, we don't really need anything else to proceed. From down there, at least. I don't think I'm thinking. Thinking. Cause I spent so much time down there before, I don't really know. You know, I'm not used to it going by so quickly. 